Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Fresh and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be some tips and tricks that you can use in the FIFA 15 web app and also their early release. Now guys, FIFA 15 is right around the corner and I think I wanted to try to help out as many people as I can to get a good and strong start off in FIFA 15. Now guys, if you do enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button. I will definitely appreciate that. And also guys, follow me on Twitter. The link is down below. I plan on doing some more giveaways before FIFA 14 is over and I will continue them in FIFA 15. And I'm also will bring back pink slips as well. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter so you can be a part of that. So let's go ahead and move on to tip number one. Now, guys, when the web app comes out in the early release, only use Microsoft points or PSN codes. Uh, to open packs but do not use coins out the reason for this is just because coins are such a big gamble we all know packs are you know you never get everything that you want so hypothetically speaking if you have 75k and you open up 10 seven and a half K packs and you get nothing then you just wasted your 75k so I would advise you to use Microsoft points and PSN codes now the way that you would do that though is you will have to actually put on Microsoft points or um PSN codes on the previous FIFA so you have to put on FIFA 14 and when the early release comes out then you will have to uh, then they'll actually uh, do a one-time transfer and then you can transfer all the FIFA points from FIFA 14 onto FIFA 15 and then afterwards you will go to the web app and then you'll open up packs using FIFA points but you can only do that once and the reason why you can't open it on the early release is because I guess EA doesn't want you to so that would be my advice if you do want to open packs just to use Microsoft points and PSN codes but do not use coins because that is a big gamble in itself now the next thing I want to talk about is to invest in players and to also find hidden gems now with um with fifa normally foothead actually gets it a lot earlier i think last year um foothead got it on september 6th which is about two and a half weeks before the game officially came out so pretty much every player's stats um all the real stats especially um pretty much all confirmed stats and all confirmed players will probably be on foothead and um my advice to you would be to do the same thing that i'm going to do is look for players look for hitting gems especially hitting gems but you know buy some players like let's say Royce is going for 25k in the web app if you actually uh, happen to have the 25k then I would advise you to buy him because his price will rise when the official game when the official game comes out and also um to try to find hidden gems as well like look at silver or bronze players with um insane stats like something that would um that will really catch the eye of a lot of people but they just haven't found out about them just yet so that would be my advice to you you know uh spend a couple of days trying to look for um some really hitting gems and when the web app finally comes out go ahead and get them because there's some people that are just going to listen up for dirt cheap and then when the game comes out they'll be going for a lot more now also the next thing is kind of pertaining to that as well but it is to buy players that were not in the previous ultimate team now for FIFA 13 Drogba wasn't there but in FIFA 14 Drogba made a comeback and in the beginning his car was going for like 50k it was just absolutely insane I mean the Drogba I paid for cost me 22k and then he slowly started to drop off on also Bernard as well the Brazilian cam he was going for 10k in the beginning of the game which is absolutely insane because he's an 80 rated player but it's because of the fact that he was not in the previous FIFA not only that but he also has some good stats as well so look out for some players that have not been in the previous ultimate team that also to be looking really good so my suggestion would probably be like Tywo because everybody uh, knows about him everybody wants him back in ultimate team also charisma because we all know that guy um and he wasn't in the previous ultimate team as well so make sure you go ahead and try to do that and you should be able to maximize profits with no problem now also guys if you do manage to open packs keep all your higher rated players and keep all the good consumables good consumables being you know rare contracts or um or uh squad fitnesses but mainly keep those high rated players if they're like 85 rated plus or not even just that they could be like an 82 rated player with a lot of hype around them just keep them um because they will go up they will go up a lot in fact actually now there are some people that bought like Ibrahimovic for like 500k in the beginning and then uh, two weeks later they sold him for like a million and a half I mean that's what happens when you keep the higher rated players their price would naturally go up because there would be more coin supply so definitely keep a hold of your higher rated players now guys you should probably sell these players as soon as FIFA 15 is released in North America just because I think that's when the price is going to be at its highest um, because I remember last year I waited until FIFA 14 was released in the UK and actually could have lost out on a bit more coins than I could have 
have lost off on. So make sure you go on and do that. But however, if you do have one of the big three like Messi, Ronaldo, or Ibra, then hold on to them a bit longer because their price would naturally go up because more coins will be on the market. Therefore, more people will have more coins and they, are, they will be able to pay like let's say two million for Ronaldo instead of one million when he first gets come when he first comes out on the web app or an early release. Now, the next one is to buy your squad as soon as possible. Seriously, guys, can't stress that enough. Buy your squad, buy your squads on the web app because that's when the players are going to go for their cheapest. It's as simple as that. If you wait too long, then everybody's price will go up. Now, another advice is to also get first week informs, guys. Now, first week informs are so rare, and during the middle of the game, they become extremely rare. Seriously, unless they get a second inform, first week's uh, inform prices just continually uh, continually rise. So, guys, make sure you go ahead and try to see if you can get a first inform. Um, preferably a popular one, too. And also keep track. If you do get a first inform, keep track of how they're doing in real life, because if they are going to get a second inform, then sell that player immediately. Now, guys, also, buy players that are doing well in real life, because real life hype actually, um, actually affects the ultimate team market so if they're doing really well in real life then their prices will also go up as well and finally guys buy some real known overpowered players for instance like Aubameyang everybody loves Aubameyang when they're using them at least but buy players that are well known and they are extremely overpowered and um, naturally their price their price will rise up once the game comes out and you should be able to sell them with no problem. But nevertheless, guys, that is the tips. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any other tips that I could have possibly missed. And as always, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I am out. Thanks for watching. Peace.